Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an inspirational Easter message. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Happy Easter, everybody. Spring has sprung, and we want to create a whiteboard video celebrating the season of hope and renewal. So what I thought I'd do today is find some of the great quotes about Easter and use those as inspiration to create our own inspirational Easter whiteboard video. So I found this article. It was just a quick Google search. This is like the first one that came up and it has some really great little like social media type quotes on it and I thought we could kind of use that as inspiration for our own message. So as you see there are quite a few of them. We've got, you know, like the Easter Bunny type. I'm sure, yeah, there's a religious one as well. And some flowers indicating spring and hope, renewal, all that good stuff. And I liked this one here. The great gift of Easter is hope. It's nice because it's not overtly religious, but yet it has that theme of hope. So that's the one I want to use. So I have the quote. I like the image. Of course, I'm going to use my own. I'm going to just use this as inspiration. So let's go over to Pixabay. I've typed in Easter and look at all these wonderful images that I have to choose from. This is a great site where you can get these free images for commercial use. So go ahead and look through and see what image you might want to use. I liked this one, but I also like this one. It's, it's similar to the one that we have in the example here with some flowers and eggs. Even the wooden background, it's similar. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. This is a little large for the 1920 by 1080 requirement of Doodly here. So I'm gonna choose the 1280 by 799. Click download. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new video. Let's just call it Happy Easter 2021. Now let's decide where are we going to publish this. Maybe we're doing this for Instagram. So let's make it a square video. Choose Create. And so now it's square for the Instagram and Facebook style. I'm going to go over to Props. And I'm going to import that image that I just downloaded from Pixabay. Click the plus sign. Browse files. This one's going to be in my downloads. Eggs. If you want to rename it, you can. I'll say Easter. Now I have a square background and a rectangular image. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and resize this so that it fills the screen in this nice square shape and then just kind of arrange it how you see fit. I think it would be nice to have the quote over here and then maybe the author's name down here. So maybe I'd like it a little lower. So let's keep resizing here. Now I want a softer look to this background image. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down for a moment so I can get to the gear icon. And I'm going to turn the opacity down a bit. I'm going to say, let's say 60% and see how that looks. And I think that's going to be nice. We can go ahead and zoom back and let's add some text. Waiting for the sunrise might be pretty. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go back and get the quote. What does it say? The great gift of Easter is hope. I'm going to do word wrap because I'm going to want it to be several lines and I probably want them to be centered. Of course, I'm going to make it much larger. And I think we probably want the font color to be white so it'll stand out on this background. And I don't feel that this font is bold enough. You know, I can make it larger, but it's a little thin for this type of background. So let's keep looking font wise. Let's try viola. And you just drag it on top and it'll replace the font that you have. It's a little fancy. I do like that though. 
Now you notice how it's getting cut off at the top here. It looks kind of strange. Every now and then you'll get that with a font. And it's hard to see because I have it white, but I'm putting my cursor at the very beginning of the quote and I'm gonna hit my return key. And that's just adding a blank line on top. And I'll do that at the bottom as well, just in case some of those get chopped off. And now you'll see the font has room to go into that blank space above and below. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it. And I think that looks nice. Now we need another font for our author's name down here. And actually this lighter one will probably be just fine. And let's go back and see who our author is. Basil Hume. Again, I'm going to change the font color to white. Now let's take a peek and see how it's looking so far. So that's going to look very nice. Now, one of the things I did not care for was the hand scribbling on our graphic. A couple ways we can deal with that. We can start with it with zero duration, which means it will just appear and nothing happens, nobody draws it on. Or we could click our pencil icon, that's our edit icon, and then go to reveal mode and choose fade. And that'll fade it in nicely. So that's what I would like to have happen. I'd also like a slight delay before this starts writing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it, say a one second delay. And then before the basal hume is written, I'd also like another delay. That one I'll make a little longer. Let's make it a second and a half. I felt this drew on a little too fast. So I'm just giving it another half a second. And I wasn't terribly fond of the guy with his sweater doing the drawing because it's spring. So we're, I'm going to go over to settings and I'm going to choose a different hand. It can be male or female. I don't really have a preference of that. But let's take this one. And let's see how that's looking. Fades in. That looks nice. The fade took a little longer than I care for. I'm gonna go for a much faster fade, a second and a half. Now at this point, it's eight seconds long, but it ends as soon as Basil Hume's name is written. So I wanna give it a little bit of a tail here. Let's say seven seconds. That gives people time to just look at it and enjoy it. Finally, we can add a little music to it. So let's go to our sounds tab. I have bird chirps. This I think I uploaded that ages ago. That might be kind of cute for spring. I don't believe it's built in to Doodly, the bird chirps. I could be wrong, but I think I may have uploaded it privately. Now it's way too long, so let's just go over here and shrink it down. Now let's listen. The bird chirps are a little loud, so I'm going to go over here, click on the sound icon, and I'm going to turn that down quite a bit. And then if we'd like to add some music, click on music, and then you're just going to need to start listening until you find something that you'd like. Okay, I like this one. It's kind of upbeat and fun. And again, I'm going to turn the music down right away. And of course, I'm going to shrink it. Now, if you've been watching these tutorials for a while, you know that I'm going to go ahead and fade this out. So I'm going to right click and choose fade out. And then I'm going to stretch this fade so it's a slower fade. I might want the music to start a little sooner here. So I'm going to bump that over and then stretch this to the ending. And one final look.
have it, a quick inspirational message for Easter. I hope this inspired you to create your own message. Thanks for watching. Bye.